If you want to customize your quiz, then you can go to your quiz preferences by going on to the quiz menu right over here and then going on to the quiz preferences right over here. So let me just click it and then quiz preferences will pop up just like this. So over here on the left side, you can see that quiz is an option. So this is where quiz preferences is. So you can see that the first option is reporting. So far in our lesson, we haven't done a reporting. That is that all of the things that is uh, selected or scored is shown at the end of the result page and that's it. It's not saved anywhere. But in reality, you do, do want it to be saved in some kind of learning management system. So you can enable the reporting for the project right over here from the reporting section as you can see and then you can choose the learning management system of your choice whether you want to be it in Moodle or Intel Server or Adobe Connect, question mark perception and so forth and choose the standard uh, of the uh, quiz sa saving process as well as you can see right here. You can choose different templates right over here and you can even go to advanced option to send data on every slide or never send the resume data and so forth as you can see right over here. So all of the process of uh, reporting can be enabled from this section right over here. So in real scenario, like if you're taking a real test um, of like students or like participants, then you do uh, want everything to be saved, even for surveys and everything else, just like that. Over here are the settings as you can see, so you can name it quiz if you want to, or you can name it some, uh, some uh, something else as you can see. And you can also uh, let the user uh, uh, skip the quiz as you can see, if it is marked as optional, but if they must answer every question, then you do need to um, select answer all, just like this over here. You can give object ID, you can uh, give an ID to the quiz so that it's unique if you have a lot of quizzes stored in and so forth. Over here on the bottom, these are the same settings that you see on the quiz section over here. So you can uh, make suffer answer uh, as suffer answer as a default feature which is turned on every time so that you don't have to click on it every time and it's a pretty useful option to turn on right over here so uh, similarly you can see that there's other option like quiz result messages like congratulations uh, you can also do something like hooray uh, and you change the end message right over here and you can also uh, let them see like certain things so you don't want them to see quiz attempts you can just disable that outright over here you uh, don't want to uh, just send accuracy then you can just like um, disable that out here total questions or max score or score and so forth so you, you can enable and disable the things you want them to show them in the result and that'll be updated accordingly over here you can also hide the play bar in the quiz if you don't want them to see the play bar sliding over sometimes it can be annoying right over there over here is the pass fail uh, option right over here and this is what we have been seeing in the question um, now how to make question tutorials and over here you can set the pass fail percentage or you can set it by points as well so if your total points is 200 you can say that your pass rate is like 100 and so forth you can set it either by percentage or by uh, points just like that if passing grade, now you can see right here, if passing grade, it's continue. So if you pass the uh, quiz, then it continues to the uh, last slide. And uh, if fail grade, so yeah, you can also allow users like two attempts. And if fail, you can choose another action. Like for example, you can jump to the slide, maybe slide number one, and then the, uh, then, uh, the person who failed the test can review and re retake the test. So that's something that can be done as well. Or you can give infinite attempts to pass as well, as you can see right over here. If you're going to go to default labels, you'll be able to see everything. Like you see the option like click yes anywhere or press Y to continue. So you can actually uh, say right, okay, and click anywhere uh, where to uh, continue and so forth. So you can see right over here that you can also change out these messages and then um, uh, just um, 
make them displayed. So you can go around, uh, change the display style over here as well. So you can see that once I choose different styles, you can see that it um, like is just different right over here. You can also create your own style of the text right over here and then choose something like this, for example, choose the text right over here, the text color. You can increase the size just like that, as you can see, and then apply that as well. So you can go over here and then uh, like change this out over here as well. So you can uh, just apply that out right over here on default hint caption. It has been applied right over there. So if I were to go here, you can see that that has been applied just like that. And just like that, you can uh, change out the preferences of the quiz. And even in the final uh, quiz result, you've seen that there's like this accuracy, just five options that we enabled in the quiz preferences right over there and that's how you can customize your quiz according to your liking inside of adobe captivate so hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe